Here is the Berliner Dom that Steph was talking about before and on the right of the screen we've got the satellite tower with the revolving restaurant in the big silver ball. Gives you a 360 degree view of Berlin which is pretty impressive. We haven't had the chance to go up there. We uh, got a review that said it was a pretty crappy view anyway so we decided to take them up on that. But this is the Berliner Dom. It's quite impressive and like Steph mentioned before in World War II when the bomb was dropped from the plane up above by the British, the bomb didn't actually explode. It just damaged the roof. Um, and then under the part of the communist regime, there were parts of this church that were destroyed where the cross or symbolisms of Jesus Christ were destroyed and they didn't actually repair all of that stuff until the wall fell down. So that's why, well, when the communist regime ended, yeah, that's why that cross looks pretty much brand new because it's only about 25 years old. Looks a little bit out of place, but over time I'm sure that it will just blend in with the rest of it. All the buildings as well, I don't know if you've noticed, they look a little bit dark and a little bit dirty. And you think, oh, is that from pollution and all that sort of stuff? It is off pollution. It's actually, this, they were built out of sandstone. And sandstone um, is not very easy to clean. So as time goes on and on and on, as history goes by, it's going to get blacker and blacker. So I'm sure when I look at this in 50 years time down the track, they'll be black and I'll have footage of it when they're semi-black. And this one here is uh, also a museum. Uh, it's called Altus. And what was quite, there's a funny story here, is that when they built the place, they'd finished it all off and the architect was really happy with it. There was one last piece that they needed to put in there. It was a big bowl here, which was gonna have water as some sort of fountain inside the uh, museum. But then they realized that they couldn't fit it through the gap of the pillars. So the architect was pretty angry and he said, oh, stuff it, just leave it outside. And that's why you can see on the camera there, a lot of people gather around that bowl. It's a bit of a bit of a joke for German people to have a look at it and they think, gosh, how stupid were we? We built this fancy place, but we didn't even fit the uh, fountain inside of it. They should have put the fountain in right at the start. And that's the museum. Bye.